All right, what's going on? It's Sativa. We back with another video for the Big Crypto Money Chat. So we're going to deal with the Phantom Wallet this time. Uh, before I get into it, though, I want to tell y'all a couple things. Like, right now we're in an NFT bear cycle. The ETH gas fee is way too high. It's not popping like it was a couple months ago. Everybody's talking about it still, but nobody's buying like they were. So you got to notice that FTX is going to make Solana mainstream. They already have um, a marketplace on their app right now. So if any of your projects get listed to FTX or whatever, it's going to go parabolic. They got a Super Bowl ad in February. They already had one with Tom Brady. So I think it was at the beginning of the season, Tom Brady had an ad. But they're probably working on something big. Like I saw the announcement, they paid X amount of dollars to get an a, a ad spot. So I'm also bullish on the uh, FTT token because of this. But uh, Solana's cheap and fast. It gets the job done, and there's a lot of great projects. So a lot of people are going to be moving over there. So let's get to it. First, we got to go to Phantom Wallet. So just put in Phantom Wallet, uh, Solana, and Google. It'll be the first one to come up. Now, I already have this on my computer, so I'm going to do everything but download it. So you hit Add to Chrome right here. And for me, it says Remove, so I already have it. But you would hit the button and add it, right? So it's going to download, and it's going to be a Chrome extension. So you see this little puzzle piece right here. You pull up your, your wallet. I already got my MetaMask, some other stuff. So I haven't used mine in a minute, and i got to put my password in. So look, you guys are first going to have to click a couple things, and you're going to get something called a seed phrase. I think it's 12 to 24 random words in a random order. This is very important. Write these down on a piece of paper. Don't copy and paste it. Don't take any type of screenshot. You don't want it to touch the internet at all. You want to write it down and be the only person who has it. So write down your seed phrase and your password. All right, so that's really important too because this is DeFi. So there is no customer service line. You're in control of your funds. It's decentralized. If you lose it, something happens to it. Like if you forget your password, you could log back into your wallet and you can use your seed phrase. But if you lose your seed phrase, it's over. You might as well kiss that money goodbye, whatever you had on it. So just remember that. Keep that in mind. So all right, now that we got the uh, Phantom Wallet, you're going to have to send some money over. So I'm going to come over here to KuCoin, uh, let y'all see a little preview of how my list is going to look. You already see some of the stuff I'm doing. So right now I have tether in my my main account so i'm gonna transfer it over to my trading because all my other stuff my trading account is in buy orders because i'm trying to snipe a couple things so i'm gonna hit all to get the whole amount okay boom now it's back in my trading account see how the available amount says that number i got this tied up in other things so now just wanted to show y'all that so i'm actually going to go to markets so go to markets because we want to buy some Solana. We uh, we did BNB last video, but we're going to do Sol for this. So here goes Sol right here. Sol slash USDT, that's what you want. In the last video, I went over on how to load your KuCoin, how to sell, whatever to get Tether. So you should already have that done. Now, you could set a limit order if you want to get a good entry in Sol, but right now I'm just trying to load my wallet for this video. So I'm going to just do a market buy. All right, so I'm going to do just $400. Yeah, that'll be good enough. So yeah, we're just going to buy $400 worth of soul real quick. Okay. I bet we in there. So let's go back to our assets. Right, so let's go to my trading account. I kind of gave you all a walkthrough on the phone, so this is lets you see what it looks like on the computer too. The graphs are way better. You could, you know, if you're in the technical analysis, you could get a little bit shaken. All right, so I want to transfer my Solana, four hundred dollars worth. All right, so let's move that over to the main account because that's where you deposit and withdraw from. So we're back in the main account. And I want to withdraw this. So now I need to put the wallet address, and it's going to be the Solana network. But the way you get that up is, well, there's a there's a shortcut key. If you hit Option Shift P, 
it'll just bring your phantom wallet up. So that's helpful. You don't got to click the little puzzle piece every time. But uh, I click Solana and then I'm gonna click receive. So I need to copy this wallet address, paste it in there. amount okay I'm gonna confirm that so y'all know how KuCoin is with their security I'm gonna have to put in my trading password and I'm gonna send the email verification code I'm gonna just check that on my phone so I don't gotta censor everything Type that in. And now I got to do the 2FA code. So, So the withdrawal is successful. So long is pretty quick. Let's see how, how long it's going to take. All right, boom, we in there. So it probably took like 20, 30 seconds, man. That's, you know, if some of y'all loaded your, from your cash app using Bitcoin, you know, it, it wasn't that fast at all. You feel me? So and after all the fees, it was probably about $3, like $2.90. So that's not bad at all. Now... First, I'm going to show y'all what a site looks like when you're trying to mint. So that's where you watch. Let me go to it. You want to make sure you're on the official site. There's a lot of scams. There's this one project called Cyber Gang. I'm not telling you to jump into it. I bought a couple myself. I minted them. Um, it didn't sell out as quick as I thought it was because I, I just got some soul gods and I sold out like in the same day it was done. That doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It could still be a great project. But, you know, I'm not going to, I already got two, so I'm not going to buy any more. But, uh, so look, let's go to the Cyber Gang Mint. Okay, see, the minting is still live, right? It's been a couple days. I'm going to connect my Phantom Wallet. And then I'm going to connect and approve that. Okay, so I'm going to do everything but mint uh, NFT right now, because I told you I already got some of these. I'm just using them as an example, because it's uh, some of the things you want to look for. It's got to have dope art. It's got to have a dope community. You feel me? People are actually active. They have uh, innovative or just interactive things that get people involved in the community. And you want to see, you know, it doesn't, celebrities or like influencers don't mean the world, but if someone is behind it and it's early and you know that person has good calls, that's like another good way too. But um, like when you hit mint, it's going to ask it to approve. I'm going to cancel it because I'm not trying to do that. But the price is 0.888. And you see after the fee, it's 0.89, so it's not expensive at all, but I'm gonna cancel that. So whenever you buy it, the way to look at your NFTs, let me do option shift P, pull this back up. All right, so I'm in wallet two, right? That's where I sent to. I'm gonna just go to my wallet one real quick just to show y'all. This is where the money is, but if you click this next tab, this is where the NFTs are. These are some of mine, you feel me? See, like I got two cyber gangs, like these two guys. And these are my soul gods. And this is a little Pepe thing my bro put me on. I just cop on it because it was cheap. You never know. But um, that's how it looks like with your NFTs. I'm going to go back to Wallet 2. This is where we sent it at. So the next thing I guess I can show you is, watch, let me go to Twitter. You want to be able to join, like, every group will have their Discord in there. So we all connect on Telegram, but you need to have a Discord, too. That's where a lot of the information for uh, mainly NFTs. Like, I would say there's a lot of info of new coins on Telegram, too. But the NFTs, they go crazy on Discord. That's where all the communities are. So let's go to uh, Soul C for a second because I want to show you all a secondary market. Well, matter of fact, matter of fact, let's do Magic Eden. Gonna do magic eating. Both of these are, both of these work, but 
so Halloween tree, let's go to the website. This is a secondary marketplace, right? So once a, a project sells out of their mints and they mint everything, like here goes Soul Gods, right here, we're going to look at Soul Gods. Once everything uh, gets minted, then it's a free market on the secondary exchange. So you could list it for whatever price. Um, you know, the floor prices go up and down. It's kind of like really like its own market in a way. You could buy the dip on a project and then sell it when it goes back up or just hold it long term. You can play it how you want. I like Soul Guys too because they're supposed to be airdropping the hold or something. So I got to hold at least a couple of mine for a little second. But say I wanted to buy one of these, I would use my wallet in the same way. So let me see what's a I brother player. I mean, so I wanted to cop him, right? First, I would connect my wallet. Same way, connect. And then you can make an offer or you could just buy now. His price is 2.1. So if I wanted to, I could hit buy now. I'm not going to. But or I can make an offer and, you know, try to see. I don't even got enough for the 2.1 right now because I'm using this other account. But yeah, so that's how you would buy on the secondary market. And then whenever you buy it, it would pop up uh, in this section right here. You know, just like I showed you in the other wallet, it'll be your collectibles, right? So. I'm going to show y'all one other thing, too, while we're uh, using Phantom Wallet, because I don't know any of y'all have used MetaMask to get on Uniswap or use, like, Trust Wallet to get on PancakeSwap. You can do the same thing with Solana. You use your Phantom Wallet or whatever wallet you got. Phantom is usually the best one. I hope they get a mobile app soon, but you got to use it on your computer. But they have decentralized exchanges, too. Like, this is one of them, Orca. So... Say I wanted to buy some Samo, right? I'm I'm not gonna do it for real because I I would like it to dip a little more before I grab it. But I definitely own some of it. But I just want to show y'all. So you gotta connect your wallet the same way. Let me uh connect my Phantom wallet. It's gonna ask me do I want to connect. I'm like yeah. All right, I got 1.62 Solana and say I want to buy some Samo. So let let me hit half. I want to use half my bag. And I will end up getting two hundred dollars. I just want to be arbitrage. But I will hit um exchange and you gotta approve it in your wallet like if i hit approve right now it'll it'll buy but i don't want to do that so i'm gonna cancel it i'm just showing y'all but yeah that's pretty much it yeah so we're gonna do the pancake swap one next time and then we'll probably try to put together some more ideas like you know what's gonna help the group the most try to figure out the next direction but it's been real as always i'm gonna see y'all next time man go run it up